Tesla vehicle EDR download capability became available in 2018. The Crash Data Group EDR Retrieval Kit for Tesla vehicles contains all of the hardware components needed to access and download EDR data from any Tesla Model S, Model X, Model 3, and Model Y. EDR data in Tesla vehicles is stored in the Restraints Control Module, or RCM. RCM is Tesla's term for the widely used term of the Airbag Control Module. In this video, we'll go over the hardware components contained in the kit, how to download and install the free Tesla EDR retrieval program, we'll go over how to download and install the PCAN device software driver, we'll discuss basic EDR download procedures for both in-vehicle and direct module downloads, we'll go over how to upload an EDR file for translation and obtain a Tesla EDR report. Finally, we'll provide a few helpful tips for downloading EDR data from Tesla vehicles. The Tesla EDR kit contains the PCAN interface device, an AC power supply, connection cables to access and download EDR data via a Tesla in-vehicle connection port, and connection cables to connect directly to an RCM to download the data. The PCAN interface device allows your computer to communicate with Tesla vehicle communication networks and ultimately with the restraints control module. A PCAN device software driver must be installed on your computer, and we'll discuss how to install the driver in just a minute. The AC power supply is used to provide 12 volt power to an RCM when performing a direct module download. In vehicle and direct module connection cables are identified by a part number that's contained on a label located on the cable. The seven digit cable number on the label may be followed by several different version or production code numbers. Only the first seven digits are applicable for determining the proper cable to use. To determine which cable to use, go to the Tesla EDR page on Crash Data Group's website and download the Tesla EDR Cable Reference Guide. Here you can determine which cable is needed for each Tesla model for either in-vehicle or direct-to-module connections. Pay attention to the model year ranges that are applicable in some cases. The most recent reference guide will always be posted on Crash Data Group's website. It's recommended to check the online reference guide before each download for the most accurate information. The Tesla EDR Retrieval Program must be installed on a computer with a Windows-based operating system. The software program is free of charge. To download the software program, go to Tesla's website at edr.tesla.com. Scroll down to the Download the Tesla EDR Retrieval Program section. The current software version is indicated here. Click on the Download button. The status of the download will be indicated on your computer. This may appear different depending on the web browser you're using. Once the download is complete, open or run the file. Double click on or open the Tesla EDR file. An install wizard will appear. Click on Next to start the install. You must accept the license agreement to proceed. Read the license agreement, click on I accept, and then select Next. Click on the Install button. The status of the installation will be indicated with a progress bar. You will likely want to create a desktop shortcut for the program by checking the box here. Click on Finish. Close all open windows and return to your desktop. A Tesla EDR icon has been placed on your desktop if you selected that option. This is used to launch the Tesla EDR software program. One thing about the Tesla EDR software program, since the software is provided free of charge and no subscription is required, Tesla's EDR Retrieval Kit users are not notified if and when a new version of the Tesla EDR Retrieval program is released. It is highly recommended to always use the most recent version of the software program when performing a download. Check Tesla's website prior to performing any download and verify the most recent version is installed on your computer. As mentioned earlier, a software driver for the PCAN interface device must be installed on your computer. To install the driver, go to the Tesla EDR page on Crash Data Group's website. Locate the Windows Driver and Installation Package link for the PCAN device. Click on the link to download the software driver. The download status will be indicated on your computer. This may appear different depending on the web browser you're using. Once the download is complete, open or run the file. Double click on or open the Peak OEM driver file. An install wizard will appear. Select Next to continue. 
read and accept the license agreement, and then click Next. It's recommended to use the default setup settings. Click Next. Now click on the Install button. Once the install is complete, click on Finish. The PCAN device software driver is now installed on your computer. Tesla has produced step-by-step -step EDR download instruction guides for each Tesla model vehicle. Links to download the instruction guides can be found on the Tesla EDR page of Crash Data Group's website. The instruction guides will indicate how to access the in-vehicle data connector for in-vehicle downloads, and they'll provide detailed instructions on how to access the RCM for direct-to-module downloads. As mentioned earlier, the PCAN interface device allows your computer to communicate with the vehicle's communication network. There are three status indicators of the LED on the PCAN device, solid steady red, slow flashing red, and fast flashing red. The solid steady red LED indicates that your computer has recognized the PCAN device. Have all programs closed on your computer and plug the PCAN device into an open USB port on the computer. The LED should be solid red. If it's not illuminated, it's likely that you do not have the PCAN software driver installed on your computer. Verify that the driver is installed and try this step again. Now, open the Tesla EDR Retrieval Program. The LED should start flashing slowly, indicating the Tesla EDR software program is communicating with the PCAN device. The LED will flash at a faster rate once you connect to either the in-vehicle data connector with the vehicle properly powered up, or directly to an RCM with 12-volt power being supplied to the RCM using the AC power supply. The fast flashing LED indicates that your computer and the Tesla EDR software program have established communication with the CAN bus of the vehicle or the RCM itself for direct-to-module downloads. One thing of note, for in-vehicle downloads, the fast flashing LED indicates communication with the CAN bus and is not always indicative of communication with the RCM itself depending on certain circumstances. For an in-vehicle download, locate the data connection port in the vehicle with the assistance of the download instruction guides. For an in-vehicle download, you will need to power up the car's electrical system, which requires you to have the key fob or key card for the vehicle. If you don't have the key fob or key card, you can provide an alternate 12-volt power source directly to the RCM through the first responder loop harness and still perform an in-vehicle download. Instructions for this procedure are contained in the download instruction guides and are not covered in this video. Open the Tesla EDR retrieval program on your computer. Connect the appropriate connection cable to the PCAN device. Plug the in-vehicle connection cable into the data connector of the vehicle. Plug the PCAN USB cable into a USB port on your computer. For a Model S or Model X, press on the brake pedal with the key fob inside the vehicle to power up the car's electrical system. The instrument cluster display screen should turn on at this point. For a Model 3 or a Model Y, sit in the driver's seat and swipe the key card on the key card reader to the rear of the cup holders in the center console. Press and hold down the brake pedal until the center screen displays the PRND icons. For a direct-to-module download, clamp the RCM to your work surface if it has been removed from the vehicle. Open the Tesla EDR retrieval program on your computer. Connect the appropriate connection cable to the PCAN device. Insert the connection cable into the corresponding port on the RCM. Connect the PCAN device to an open USB port on your computer. Connect the AC power supply to the power socket on the connection cable to provide power to the RCM. The EDR retrieval program automatically attempts to connect to the RCM. When connected properly to the RCM, a green circle and the message connected to RCM will be displayed in the lower left corner of your computer screen. Click on the Run EDR Retrieval button to start the download. A window will open allowing you to enter any comments you wish relevant to your case. Enter your comments and select OK. The EDR Retrieval Program will go through a series of steps to retrieve the data. Once completed, the EDR file is saved on your computer as indicated here and can be used to generate a Tesla EDR report through Tesla's website. Now click on the Finish button. You'll need internet access to generate a Tesla EDR report. 
go to Tesla's website at edr.tesla.com. Scroll down to the Generator Report section and click on Select a File to Upload. Browse to the EDR file you wish to upload and then double click on or open the file. The file name will appear here. Click Submit and wait for the file to upload. Be patient, this process can take a couple of minutes to complete. Once the file has been uploaded, click on Download Report. Now, open the downloaded report file. You can save the Tesla EDR report to your computer in the form of a PDF document. The Tesla download instruction guides for the Model 3 and Model Y contain illustrations showing the location of the in-vehicle data connector. The in-vehicle data connector in a Model 3 is located beneath the door sill trim panel near the B-pillar on the passenger side of the vehicle. The in-vehicle data connector for the Model Y is located behind a trim panel on the passenger side A-pillar. The illustrations are of the driver's side of the vehicle. There are notes indicating the correct location of the connector and that the illustrations are for illustration purposes only. Make sure you're working on the passenger side of the vehicle for a Model 3 or a Model Y. To access the in-vehicle data connector in a Model S or a Model X, you'll need to remove the plastic storage pocket beneath the center touch screen. You'll need to apply a significant amount of downward pressure to remove the storage pocket. You may want to consider putting a towel or other protective barrier beneath the storage pocket to avoid scratching or damaging the center console. The Tesla EDR download instruction guides provide detailed instructions on how to access the RCM for direct-to-module downloads. The steps to access the RCM varies by Tesla vehicle models and can be very labor-intensive. Carefully review the instruction guides and have the necessary tools with you. If you need to supply supplemental power to the 12-volt vehicle battery for an in-vehicle download, review the instruction guides, as the location of the 12-volt battery and the connection posts vary by vehicle model as well. For more information on the EDR Retrieval Kit for Tesla vehicles, visit CrashDataGroup.com.